Nomination for the 224 member assembly polls, Chief Minister Jagdish Shetha and Deputy Chief Minister K.S. Ishwara Payanar Ashoka will file the nomination papers today. 34 killed in neighboring Pakistan in massive earthquake that hit Iran-Pakistan border yesterday. Several casualties feared in Iran. Tremors also felt across North India, including Delhi. Supreme Court to hear Sanjay Dutt's plea seeking more time to surrender to serve his remaining three and a half year jail term. Plea of three other convicts in the 1993 Mumbai serial blasts case rejected. Centre assures Supreme Court that the probe against Italian Marines in the fishermen killing case will be completed within 60 days. Italy says NIA has no jurisdiction to probe case against the Marines. CBI tells the Ghaziabad court that Aruji Talwar was murdered by her own parents, Rajesh and Nupu Talwar, and no outsider was present at the time of the crime. CBI clarifies yet to file affidavit in the coal block allocation probe before the Supreme Court dismisses all media reports and speculation, asserts it is not under any pressure. Downslide for gold continues, yellow metal, uh, metal crashes by a whopping 1,160 rupees to 26,440 rupees per 10 grams in Delhi. Silver cheaper by 1,875 rupees per kilogram. Big setback to former Pakistan President Musharraf. His candidature rejected in all four parliamentary constituencies for next month's general election. Pakistan at least 22 killed and dozens wounded in two separate blasts. Militants target senior politicians campaigning for the upcoming general election in Balochistan and Khyber Pakhtun Khawa. China issues eighth defense white paper in 15 years, warns that the country faces multiple and complicated security threats, particularly in Asia-Pacific region. Funeral of former British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher to be held today in London. The Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh to attend the funeral ceremony at St. Paul's Cathedral. FBI begins probe in twin explosions in Boston annual marathon. Security beefed up worldwide. Obama vows to hold perpetrators accountable condemnation from across the globe. Registration to begin today for the London Marathon to be held on Sunday. A 30-second silence will be observed at the start of the marathon to show support for the victims of the Boston Marathon. U.S. military helicopter crashes near North Korean border. Incident occurs during ongoing South Korea-U.S. joint military exercises. No casualties reported. Around 900 flights of the American Airlines affected across the United States due to a fault in its computerized reservation system. Flights into America's five biggest cities, including New York, stopped for us. Venezuela's opposition leader Henry Capriles calls off rally to demand recount of Sunday's disputed presidential election, urges supporters to respect his decision. Big relief for boxer Vijinder Singh. The sports ministry says Vijinder's dope test is negative for banned substances. Samples of four other boxers also returned negative for banned substances. In IPL, Kings 11 Punjab defeat Kolkata Knight Riders by four runs in Mohali. In second match, Royal Challengers Bangalore pull off nail biting win over Delhi Daredevils via Super Over in Bangalore. World Haemophilia Day is being observed today across the world to advocate global efforts to ensure appropriate care and treatment for a disease that's the oldest known genetic bleeding disorder caused by genetic deficiency.